Hey, what's up, y'all? My name is Blair, and this is Momentum. All right, check it out. If you're new, please hit the like button, subscribe button, and notification bell, so every time I put out a video, you'll know. And if you enjoy my content, please share. Before I start, I want to say thank you to all of my subscribers. All right, here we go. Um, today, I want to talk about why you should use multiple wholesalers. But before I... Um, tell you that i want to segue into that so here we go um i got a peer of mine that i was talking to about maybe a week ago and uh we were talking about um the business and uh he said that he had got in touch with a woman who was fairly new to this uh business and was really hesitant on um doing it you know going forth and taking action because her concerns were safety, you know, and uh, rightly so. I mean, I understand. I, I, I get it. It's crazy out here. You know, but uh, he also talked to me about how the first wholesaler she talked to, or one of the first wholesalers that she got in contact with, told her that he wanted 100% loyalty. And if she sold to anybody else, he would find out and therefore would not do business with her again. Okay, now, again, like I said before, this woman already got one leg in and one leg out. Okay, I think that that was uh, uh, very unprofessional of this particular wholesaler. You know, um, I know the person's uh, course that she bought, you know, she bought and everything, but... Um, and I know who he basically uh, has for wholesalers that, you know, on his list, you know, um, and I, I think I know who it is, but I just think it's unprofessional. You know, it's very unprofessional, you know, um, and I want to segue into why I think you should have multiple wholesalers, you know, given the story that I just told you. You know, there are a lot of wholesalers out there. You know, don't let nobody intimidate you. You know, because I think that she probably was further outside of the business now because of what he told her. So, you know, um, there are wholesalers out there and there's, you know, wholesalers out there that want loyalty. You know, I understand. But see, the thing is, is that at one point, you may have a wholesaler buying something and then two weeks later, not only is he not buying it, but the uh, prices went down. You know what I'm saying? Or he may have an NA, you know, uh, and it's a trip. I'm going to give you an example of what I'm saying. Uh, there was a product that I had, you know, I had a lot of it and the, uh, I got in contact with the uh, wholesaler, and he said, yeah, man, uh, how much is he paying for it? I said, he's paying this. He was like, I can pay you that. I said, cool, so I'll, I'll invoice you tomorrow and ship it out. When I went to go invoice him, he was like, man, I'm not taking them now. You know why? Because he had just gotten in a shitload of these things. So I instantly had to go to another wholesaler. You see what I'm saying? Stuff can change up quick, extremely quick in this business, you know, and it's, it's just, it's nuts. You know, uh, another reason why I think you should use multiple wholesalers is because it gives you a, a good chance to be competitive. You know, there's not as much uh, strain trying to satisfy your customers and your clients. You see what I'm saying? Um, another time, uh, an example I can give you is with uh, a situation where I had these products that I was trying to gather up for this one wholesaler because he's really the only one that was taking them. There was another guy taking them, but, you know, you had to ship him a certain amount, and I didn't have that amount. So what happened was is that he had them at $20. So I was buying them from my clients at $10, okay? I was buying them at $10. When um, 
when that happened and I got enough, I looked at his price sheet and lo and behold, he had them at $10. So here I am. I'm like, okay, here we go. You know, here we go. So anyway, he happened to reach out to me that day and, um, he said, you know, I was, I didn't hear from you in a while. You know, I haven't heard from you in a while. So I said, cool. So I explained my situation. He said, cool. I think this was on a, like on a Saturday or something like that. And he said, contact me on Tuesday and let me see where I'm at. Well, anyway, come Tuesday, I looked at his updated price sheet and these things were at $60 a box. You know, I was like, yeah, <laughs> I was like, hell yeah. You know, so that was, that was a load off my chest, you know, um, but anyway, had he not done that, I would, e would have either had to sit on them or collect enough to send them to this other wholesaler. You see what I'm saying? So, you know, right now things are moving very, very rapidly, you know, and you don't want to be stuck holding anything. You know, I'm going to go over this, you know, um, in another video in more detail than this. But another really good reason why you want to have as many wholesalers as you can get, you know, um, is because of prices. You know, prices go up and down like crazy, like in a jiffy, you know, uh, especially right now. Um, yeah, you just want to be able to leverage as much of this business and maximize as much of this business as you can. And the way that you do that is to use multiple wholesalers in every way possible. You know, um, yeah, I just, I'm about to ship to somebody that I ship to a lot, but uh, I haven't shipped to in a while. And because he's decreased his uh, processing time, oh, he's going to get a lot of stuff from me. There's no doubt about that. You know, uh, and plus he went up on some prices for me too. Yeah, so that's great in my book. Anyway, I'm going to leave it here. My name is Blair. Uh, I want to thank everybody for watching. And remember, you can't gain momentum without traction, all right? You got 365 days to get it right. And to the next video, peace out, people.